Well, welcome, everybody. Welcome to Live at Life Center. How, how's my crowd out there? Are you ready for this? Oh, yeah, they're ready. They're excited. These, these are Jesus freaks. We're ready to go here. Welcome, and welcome to our online audience. And we have people joining us from around the United States and around the world, and you get to participate too. All you have to do is use hashtag live at LC on Facebook or Twitter or email it in, and we're going to be taking some of your questions wherever you're at right now around the world. Perhaps we'll even get some questions from believers in China. Who knows? But we're just so grateful that you're joining us, and I want you to give a warm Life Center welcome to my friend Yun and his brother Ren. Come on, welcome to Life Center. So good. So good. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, you can be seated. You can be seated. Well, you can see that they're excited to hear from the heavenly man. Mm. Yun, uh, let's, let's begin. And uh, for, I know a lot of people who are watching us online and in the room have read your book. But wh why do we call you the heavenly man? <laughs> Uh, what you said uh, earlier is very important. We are Jesus freaks. We belong to Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Amen. 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 Uh, we are not given options to decide what country we were not given options to decide what country we were born into and what uh, people group we belong to. We are not given options to decide uh, we are not given options to choose we'll, what is going to be our mother language and, and uh, about many circumstances of our life. Are we going to even uh, choose who's going to become our mother and father? But when the heavenly calling comes to our lives, we know from that very moment we belong to the kingdom of God. We belong to Jesus. Amen. 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 And uh, many, many people, especially in Asia, they talk about the year of pig and, and cow and, and, and snake and all these animals. Part of the Chinese. Yeah, part of the Chinese yeah. and Asian culture generally. Right. Right. But because of this heavenly calling that come to us through Jesus Christ, we all become heavenly people, mm -hmm. heavenly men, heavenly women. Yeah. Amen. Wait, no, he wasn't. He wasn't always referred to as the heavenly man, though. When I was 17 years old, I first Jesus Christ, first time in my life. Jesus came to me and with my own ears, I heard him saying, Brother, stand up and be my witness and preach the gospel to west and south all the way back to Jerusalem. This is a, a vision that he had? Oh. No, it wasn't a vision. I heard with my okay. physical okay. ears oh, wow, wow. Jesus calling me. So yeah. it was the first time that I heard I thought that it was my mother calling me. So I went oh. to visit my mother and she said, Son, you have lost your mind. You start to hear uh, voices. So that was the first reaction in my close neighborhood about me listening to Jesus. They said, I have lost my mind. So, uh, as an obedient Chinese 
child, my mother said to me, go back to bed. Because if Jesus wants to speak somebody in our house, he will first speak to me because oh. I'm an old believer. Okay. Uh, she, she His had, mom was a believer. Yeah, she heard the gospel okay. before revolution through Western missionaries. Okay. Okay. And uh, when I went back to my bed and I tried to sleep, I could not sleep the whole night because this voice was coming back again and again uh, to me. And then the, the God started to sp spoke to me how we are chosen people uh, from uh, uh, First uh, Peter chapter 2. Okay. Uh, and, and our purpose of our life is to proclaim the mighty works of living God. And from that day, I understood that I do not belong to the snakes, I don't belong to the pigs or to the cows. I belong to Jesus Christ. And the purpose of my life is to proclaim uh, the praises to him who has called me from darkness into his eternal life. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Now, uh, he, he has this voice. It activates him. Uh, a lot of us have, have you all heard the whisper before? So uh, there are a lot of Jesus people that know that whisper that he's talking about. Um, but you, he got started right away preaching. <laughs> And this happened about 10 p.m. when I heard this calling. The whole night I was awake and I was just praying one very urgent prayer. God sent a morning quicker because right when the light comes on i will go out and i will start to preach the gospel and be your witness beautiful <laughs> The God has prepared me for this few days earlier because after I had memorized all the Gospels, then I was memorizing Book of Acts and I recognized that the difference in disciples' life was when they were baptized by the Holy Spirit. It was only after that they were experiencing 3,000 came to salvation, 5,000 came to salvation. So I was praying the whole night. Jesus, I'm really serious. I do need the power of the Holy Spirit to be successful witness for you. Hallelujah. Wow. wow. Okay. Let me let me let me slow this down because I th I mean there's so much there. He memorized the gospels. So in the bay, in I can't. Th this this is a small portion of our church. I can't even get them to remember when church starts. And so I studied from book of Matthew, from his ancient fathers, everything, every man. I still today, I can speak out the every word from book of Matthew and, and, and Mark, Luke, and uh, John. Wow, praise the Lord. Because 
你才能够更好为耶稣做见证。And the Holy Spirit spoke to me very clearly. It's very important to memorize, to know the Word of God, memorize the Word of God. But if you only have that memorizing the Word of God and you don't have the power of the Holy Spirit, you will still right. fail. You need the Holy Spirit. You, in, you need both. Yeah. That's, Hallelujah. That's really important. In fact, I, I just want to say to the people that are watching us online, I know we have lots of people here that are Jesus people. We have some that aren't Jesus people. But the, the Word of God is alive. And one thing you can do, just like Yoon, is start to consume the Word, start consuming the Gospels, start reading the Word. And then you begin to pray like he did, because everything that God's done through this brother, he can do through the people here. Isn't that so, church? In fact, that's one of the reasons that we invite Yoon to be here in Tacoma, is that we're, we believe Tacoma needs Jesus. And what happened through this brother to change China, we believe can happen through us to change Tacoma and the state of Washington, right? Amen. 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 And you believe that, I know. Amen. You said it was very important. Because the Bible said that the word of God is alive and active. And sharper than any double-edged word. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. And I, the amazing thing is that the Word of God will not only uh, change our future, it will also restore uh, and uh, heal us from everything that comes from our past. And, uh, and, and my personal experience is that the, the Word of God has changed my destiny. Beautiful, love it. Mm. We are named through our parents. That's our background. That's where we come. And our identity comes from there. But when we receive Jesus and the word of God, we get a new heavenly yes. Yes. identity. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. That's so good. Mm. Uh, Tell me about the persecution. You're 17, you have this voice, you get activated, you start consuming scripture. You get filled with the Holy Spirit. How long before the persecution begins? How long before? And praise God, I can witness about this. I started 8 o'clock next morning. I said to my mother, now it's time. I will walk to the village, west from our home village, and I start to share the gospel and witness about Jesus. You know, now when uh, this happened during the last years of cultural revolution, when God called me to ministry, and those years, if you stood up and you start to pre uh, proclaim that God is alive, Jesus is real, my mother was, she said, son, you have lost your mind. This is not the time to preach about Jesus. What, what years would that be? The end uh, of 70, uh, in, in 73, okay. yeah, right. around that yeah. time, yeah. So, uh, I had a little uh, problem. I have never met a preacher in my life. I don't know how they act, what they I was thinking that what are you supposed to do with the Bible because I have memorized the Bible, whether you have to keep it towards your chest, your heart, okay. or put it on your head. And then what I was thinking that heaven is up there, so I put the Bible on my head. And I started to shout that all of you who are sick, come and experience the power of living Jesus. 
很多人出来，他们告诉这个人这么奇怪呀，就把圣经放到头上。People are very amazed. What a strange man! He's keeping a book on his head and he's shouting us to come forward to be healed. 那我小的时候，我讲话口口口舌有问题，越急越讲不出来话，所以口舌不清，大家听不懂。你这么激动，到底你在干什么的 ？I was extremely passionate, but I had the problem as a young man. My my my. Speaking was very unclear. I had like a huge potato in my mouth. So when I get excited, people could even understand less about what I was saying. But they saw I was very passionate, and they came closer to me, listening to me. 后来我看到人越来越多的时候，我突然间想到，我的父亲过去在癌症的时候，妈妈让我们跪下来祷告。I was so moved by those tens of people who were coming to me, and then suddenly I remember that few months earlier, when my father was dying in terminal cancer, how my mother told us children to surround her bed and kneel down around his bed, and as we prayed, my father was instantly healed through that prayer. I just started to say. 你们跪有病的人，你们跪下来喊耶稣，就单单喊耶稣，耶稣救我，耶稣，你喊耶稣的时候，耶稣就能医治你。And I said to everybody, come to me here. Let's all kneel down here in the village square and let's call upon the name of Jesus. And like my father was healed few months ago, you will be healed here right now. 只有很多人开始跟我一起跪下来喊耶稣的时候，突然间神呐、啊、给我降临呐、啊，很多人开始跳起来，站起来，耶稣真的很灵验，耶稣真的能医治人，能救人，我好了。And uh, the, when the sick people came, and any one of them who kneeled down and they shouted the name of Jesus, the kingdom of God came up on that village care, square, and they were all healed. And they stand up and they were shouting, "Jesus is alive! Jesus have healed me!" Amen. Beautiful. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ's miracle is God's power. The Bible says that the the uh, the uh, word of God, the gospel, is power of God right. for salvation for. Those who believe, and these people believe that the, uh, the power of God. So the first year in ministry, I saw over 3,000 people kneel down before Jesus and accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior. In, the, in that first year, that, I mean, that, that's remarkable. Somebody could, uh, I mean, someone could have a ministry go on for decades and not see that kind of fruit. Was the, was the, was the resistance to the message start beginning at that point? By the way, while he's asking that, I want to make sure that the people online can participate. Because uh, if you put hashtag live at li LC, you get to participate in just a few minutes and ask some questions. But talk about the persecution for a moment. It wasn't the persecution did not necessarily start from my personal ministry, but all these uh, new Jesus freaks, they went to their families, they okay. went to their relatives, they were singing the same songs, they were shouting the name of Jesus, they were shouting hallelujah, and of course it, they started to look who is behind this okay. new uh, right. movement. And as they started to persecute these uh, new believers, they started to ask the question, who was the one who get you for this? Who, who, who shared the gospel for you? And they started to point, it was Brother Yun. He was the one who shared about Jesus. He was the one who prayed for us. Now, you, you can help give a little context to this because that, that's, that's not just a, a social miscue. It's Ill, it was illegal for him to be doing this, yes? Absolutely. And he was, from the very beginning, even during the first year of the ministry, he became already contra-revolutionary. They said you are, because the great communist party had really made up the laws, changed everything. So whatever you do in the name of Jesus, you were, uh, you were uh, against 
the government, the government uh, you, were, uh, you were a national security mm -hmm. threat because okay. you are trying to pull down the arising people's republic right. so the, it, the entire uh, government was turning against him yeah, wow so at what point does he how how long is he in the ministry before he, you get arrested yun for the first time first of all let me ask a question how many times has he been arrested not counting speeding tickets, by the way. Now, uh, my first official recognition as a minister of the gospel became the day when I started to see my posters all over China to be wanted, and there was a reward, a wanted criminal, a contra-revolutionary. And, uh, and so it only, and, and, but uh, I was in the ministry almost 10 years because before they finally caught me and okay. I did not escape. So what this persecution did for me, it kept me moving 24-7. Right. So I moved from one city to another, from county to another, one province to another, and I was running almost 10 years. And finally, I was so exhausted and, and burned out. So the Lord said, my son, you are really getting tired. So I'm preparing a vacation home for you so you can take a break. <laughs> And I was so excited that the Lord had concerned about my strength and he's preparing a vacation home for me uh, to have my first vacation ever. I totally misunderstood because I didn't have a clue that it's a Chinese prison that I'm heading to. So, so you, if ten, how long would that first stay in prison lasted? How long? Now,你第一次在监牢，呃，有有多少年？呃，第一次被抓的时候，被抓之前正好是我们在聚会，那是神一个特别的呼召，说你要去休息之前，我要给你一个呼召，就是你要把从前信耶稣的人都能够带领他
。那我当时的意向不但是我知道我的身份，我知道我的意向，上帝要呼召我，不但向西向南传福音，把福音传回耶路撒冷。我的渴望是中国要成为福音村，这个世界，这个是真正要成为一个福音村。And also because of the calling from God to my life to preach the gospel to west and south, I had just one great desire that one day in near future, China will be called one massive village of gospel. The yeah. gospel is available in every village in China. Is that happening right now? Now, now this is a miracle. Because I mean, it's happening. And it's right happening right now. Yeah, we, we've been talking a lot about the past, but you're still, your team still lives in China. That's correct. And you, uh, talk about how many people are coming to Jesus in China every day. Do you know those kind of numbers? Oh, of course we do. Uh, they were about the missionaries left behind uh, less than 800,000 uh, Christians, uh, 1949. For 30 years, we didn't know anything what is happening in China. Then early 1980s, we started to get access back to China. And we were amazed because the church had uh, grown without missionaries, without pastors, without church buildings, even without Bibles, from 800,000 to 30 million. 1980s, All and that is the first 30 years, Total, uh, everything underground. Totally underground. Totally underground. And now, 30 years later, we, have, we are now in the second cycle, or actually third one already. 60 years after the revolution, another 30 years. Yeah. Now, today, the church, these are government figures, unofficial, of course. Right that they say that there are between 160 to 200 million disciples wow. of Jesus Christ in China. Wow. Every day, more than 30,000, 1 million a month come to faith in China. And this is how they see the future. Four months ago, they said, in 2030, there will be more than half 500 million Christians, one third of the population will be born again Christians. Yeah, just so you get your mind around that, there are 300 million people in the United States. So that would be as if everybody in the United States, right now, if what you're saying is true, it would be like two out of three people in America would be on fire believers and followers of Jesus. And not only that, disciples, because disciples right. are different to believers. Right, because these people aren't, there, there's nothing passive, there's nothing passive no. about the church in China. No, that's right. Yeah. They are all on fire. Yeah. Why? Why, why, is, is, the, why is the church no, why is in China the so on fire? And then, and then I want you to give a word to these friends, because we, we want an on-fire on church in Tacoma. So what, what can they do to change the Jesus, the Jesus movement in our city? Uh, when, when God gave me this uh, vision, uh, and I, I, I was faithful with that vision, the first time I ended to prison for four years. And the secret, uh, the, the, the fire of the revival started to burn in China because when they lost the pastors, they lost the f f leaders, they ended up for years, tens of years to prison, the church went on their knees and they, they started to pray day and night uh, on behalf of the arrested pastors. And that was beginning of the prayer movement in China. So maybe when I go to jail, these people will get fired up. They will be totally changed, yeah. brother. <laughs> if you go for the sake of the gospel. Right, right, yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> There's a little caveat there. That's a yeah. little Gotta be. twist there, yeah, brother. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Uh, oh wow! So it's you're you're saying prayer. Some prayer so, matters. Uh, let, let me ask you a few devo questions about his private life, right? How much time do, do you spend every day talking to Jesus, talking in the Spirit, speaking in tongues? 
，每一天是五点钟早上五点钟起床，已经超过二十几年了。我每一天早上五点钟起床，那我想最少要有，呃，一个小最少的时候会有一个小时的祷告。或读圣经，这是最少的时候。可是，一般情况就是，他过一个小时到两个小时祷告或读经连到一起。Uh, since the first time I ended up in the prison,、uh, I make a decision that I wake up five o'clock every morning, and I spend between one and two hours in, in a very intimate relationship with Jesus.、I'm、every day. Every day. From five to seven. Five to seven every day, and I have been doing this now. Almost 30 years. Okay. Hallelujah. How many of you are ready to do that? I mean, that, I, I just want that to sink in for a second because I mean,、uh, so, some of us feel like we're doing God a big favor when we pray for 15 minutes a day. But what 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 happens to you when you spend those two hours? Help me make the case. There are people watching from all over. Some of them are believers. Some of them are brand new believers. We got a lot of new Jesus people here. Why, why spend two hours with the Lord? Uh, I have really this prayer in mind that everyone who calls themselves to be a followers of Jesus, they understand the secret because if we go closer to Him, He will come closer to us. It's always us who have to go closer to Him first, and then He will come closer to us. Don't don't you think? I mean, you must run into people all the time that want the outcomes you get. They want to see the healings. They want to see 3,000 people come to Christ in a year through their life, but but there's a connection between the two hours in prayer and the 3,000 people coming to Christ. Between memorizing the Word and preaching the gospel like that. 是不是这样的？有很多人说，云弟兄，我也要跟你一样开始结果子了，能够一百人。一千人、三千人来信主的，呃，医治病人，就是这个方面。可是，是不是啊？你这样的工作、服侍工作的这这个呃效果，跟你祷告、你的读经也有关了。呃，我们的祷告，如果耶稣在天未天未亮之前就起来祷告，或是耶稣整夜祷告，我们每一个跟随耶稣的人就是要效法耶稣。My my answer is very simple. If Jesus, as Son of God, needed to go before dawn to pray, or spend in prayer the entire night, if we want to follow Jesus, He has shown the direction what to do. Beautiful. Chinese Chinese Church. 有一首诗歌，可能国外的人已经翻译成英文，很多人会唱。中国的早晨五点钟传来祈祷声。中国的早晨，每个早晨。So there has, and there is a song that is sung everywhere in China at the church. The church in five o'clock in the morning, a sound of prayer start to sound everywhere in China. Beautiful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Talk about. Because we are in a communist country, we feel that we cannot do anything. We are operating in an atheist. Communist territory. Right. Everything is against us. So if we, we don't have, if we are not with Jesus,、right. we cannot do anything. Yeah, you, 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 you have a sense that you need him because of the resistance. Yeah, and this is one of the things, Yun, that I'm. Tr- this this church is in the middle of the most secular part of the United States. And, and, and one of the things we're trying to do is activate the Jesus people, whether they they come to this building or another. Another building somewhere around the city. Because not because some, as you know, even in, I'm sure in China,、mm. not everybody runs toward the battle. Some people get in the habit of running away from the battle. Because you know, you should know this. 
并不是呃那个要打仗的时候了，每一个人就很乐意的发进了，有一些也要想跑走了，离开了，他们不要开始跟魔鬼有任何的。In fact, talk about that. I want to. In 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 about five minutes, we're going to receive an offering. By the way, and every Yoon is not accepting any money. Ren is not accepting any money. All the money that we give these folks tonight is going to go buy Bibles in Iran, in North Korea, in China. Okay. We have this project to bring one million Bibles and bring them, smuggle them into Iran. Let's see how long it takes. Well, we love Iran, and, yeah. and uh, as the tr friends know, I've been in communication with yeah. friends, and we talked a little bit about yeah. that. So you could be preparing your gifts, and if you're watching online, there's a way for you to give online, whether you're watching on a smartphone or an iPad or an Android system or on your computer, so we can uh, make sure we support these brothers by buying Bibles. But talk about courage. How is it that you would, when you got your disciples together, you called them, I think, filling stations, right? Mm. When you get these disciples together, how do you get them to be courageous instead of running in the face of? It sounds better when you say it. Go ahead. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Jesus, he is a complete prayer. But the next day, he is going to go to the store and teach people. He is going to meet the sinner. 只有面临着这些罪人，只有你这些祷告，主给你能力，给你属天的智慧，给你话语。The prayer is also very important for every disciple. If you want to be a successful soul winner, you have to hear the Lord revealing something from the life of that person you are sharing the gospel, so that his mind is blown out. How in the world does he know this about my life? Revelation. It's a revelation, and it's a prophetic <laughs> message that as, as, as communicating this to a person, and the person knows, uh, nobody knows this. His God must be real. Uh, and, and as we are training, you, you have, uh, it's very good and it's very important to preach the gospel of the kingdom, but that's only one half. Then you also have to show the power of the kingdom by healing the sick and casting out the demons. So this is where this, Hallelujah. this is where, this is where signs and wonders come in. And this is the biggest problem with the Western Church. We are so much teaching and teaching, but we are not acting by faith. So the miracles, signs, and thunders that not follow the gospel, so that people can see that God is real and He's alive. So what do you? So there are a lot of there are a lot of believers. What? who believe that signs and wonders aren't for today. They don't happen anymore. What would you say to that? Don't, don't hurt me. I'm just, I'm just asking. I'm asking for them. I say that the faith of your previous uh, President George W. Bush is exactly what you described right now. Last year I talked to him. In, in the sense that he didn't believe in signs and wonders. Yeah, that's okay. right. Okay. In the, about a year and a half ago, I got the invitation, got the invitation to go to uh, to uh, Dallas, and there was a closed door uh, meeting 
And somebody introduced, uh, I was supposed to come there and share my testimony. And somebody shared that this brother, Ian, he's a pastor, underground pastor from China. He has been more than 10 years in four different occasions in, in prison for the sake of the gospel. And, and last time he was in the prison, he was the number one security prison in China. And in torture, they have crushed his both legs from uncle. He, uncles, he couldn't walk. And, and uh, then just uh, Jesus came and asked, him to stand up and walk out and when Bush heard this wasn't that somebody paid some money so that they allow him to escape so, 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 he, so let me let me clarify yeah. so you, Yoon is relaying to President Bush yes, the story the at the, uh, from a supernatural angle yeah. and and the president assumed that there must have been a bribe somewhere that's right got it yeah he said like this, I believe that when Jesus was on the earth, he healed the blind and, and the deaf and the lame, and Peter, he walked out from the prison because all in the Bible, but the, the fact that Brother Un had walked out from top security prison in communist China, I have really difficulty to believe. Yeah. Somebody must have bribed the warden. Yeah, I, 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 think, I think that idea is fairly widespread in the Western <laughs> church. That, 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 those, that, that miracles stopped when the last disciple died, that, that signs and wonders. Okay. I, I have a good question. I, I ask you, brother, and I ask everybody, do you still then say that you believe that Jesus is same yesterday, today, and forever? Yeah. 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 You believe that? Yeah. 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 Uh, I think I think he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And if that's so, that means that we've got work to do. Amen. And we can we can be a part of it. We can be a part of it right now. We're going to receive our offering. So you all have envelopes here, and online you can join us by clicking on the uh, button on your uh, if you're using our app or if you're on our website. So do be a giver and be generous today. Uh, Life Center is involved with the persecuted church around the world. We want to give a generous gift to this effort to buy Bibles. But you can, as the people that are normal givers here, uh, when you give an offering, every time you give an offering, a, a, a portion of it goes to work like this around the world. So thank you for being so generous. And if you're watching online, you, you can uh, send us your question by hashtag live at LC to be a part of the discussion that we're doing here with Brother Yoon about the supernatural, about the persecuted church, about all that's going on. And it is remarkable, the, the miracles that are happening. So let me, Yoon, at this point, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to our, our internet audience and I'm, I've got uh, a couple of questions for you from our internet audience. Uh, one, one, one brother asks you, when, when you say you're memorizing scripture, mm. how, how do you, is there a technique that he uses to memorize scripture? That's a good question, right? Maybe some of you are wanting to memorize uh, the gospels by next Sunday. <laughs> How do, how do you memorize? Is there, how does he do that? Yeah. One brother wants to know that. Okay. Do you want him to ask now? Answer yeah. now. Answer. Yeah, yeah. Answer. Answer. I have no special way except I'm on my knees by my bed okay. and I read through the Bible book uh, uh, not 10 times, not 30 times, not 50 times, as long as I have memorized every word in the whole book. Just keep repeating. Just keep another, repeating. another question. Uh, Charlie asked this question. Uh, what can we do to help believers who are being, not just believers, but active believers, yeah. right? Uh, who are being persecuted in China and around the world. How can we help them? 
接着问路啊，问他们一个问题了。他说：“我们怎么能够帮助那些现在手臂？” While he's asking that question, hashtag live at LC. You get to be a part of the dialogue. Are y'all having a good time here? All right, thank you. Okay, the question: How do we help the persecuted church? 我们怎么能够帮助手臂手臂吧？呃，除了为他们祷告之外，其实我们呃有一个福音传回耶路撒冷这个网站上啊，常常都提到一些基督徒受逼迫这些见证。你怎样可以继续祷告？你能够从那里找到更多的材料，能够为他们祷告？ First of all, very important to know who you are praying for. What who are these people? What is their circumstances? You need to have information so you can pray intellectually. Pray. You can go to our website backtojerusalem.com. Backtojerusalem.com. And you can get information about the persecuted Christians and what to pray about. And if you want to support them, you can send the support through that website. So you can do it financially. You can do it through prayer. Yeah. And you can be a part of that. Another question. Another brother asked this. Do you have a favorite Bible verse that you that is especially precious to you? 最最宝贝的经文是哪一个经文？你个人？呃，对我来讲最宝贝的一句话语就是：这天国的福音要传遍天下，对着万民做见证，然后末期就来到。The most precious Bible verse for myself in the whole Bible is this. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations, and then the end will come. Matthew 24, 14. Amen. I love that. Amen. That's, that, that's your mission. That's his mission. This is your mission. This is your mission. This is both my vision and my most precious vision. Verse, uh, verse from the Bible. All these years I was tortured and persecuted at the prisons in China. They always ask the same question. Who sent you out? Who told you to go out and, 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 and uh, talk about Jesus? I said, it was Jesus himself. He said, that verse. this verse. That's why it's so precious because I have paid price for that verse. That's beautiful. Isn't that good? Amen. Okay. Uh, Jamie on, uh, from Twitter, thank you so much for joining us on Twitter and Facebook. Hashtag live at LC. Here's what Jamie asks. What, what do you see Jesus doing in the government of China? I know, I know that this is a sensitive issue. We have people that are watching around the world. I know people will watch this from China and you want to avoid being, um, getting other believers in trouble. Uh, who are still there? But what do you do? You sense that there is change happening in the government of China? Nikwan 神已经早在中国，这些不但是在地老百姓的心中，在工人的工人们的心中，在学生们的心中，神已经早已在中国这些官员，甚至共产党的中间，已经开始做奇妙的改变工作。很多人开始归向耶稣。God has already many many years ago. He started to work, and he's not working just among regular workers and students and business people, but he's also bringing thousands and thousands of Communist Party officials into that, the faith to Jesus Christ. Is that Christ. right? That's correct. Yeah. That's encouraging. Isn't that awesome? Uh, one woman uh, from Twitter asked this question. Brother Yoon, what is it like to forgive those who have persecuted you? And how did you process that? Talk about the forgiveness, because you had you said you had both legs, both ankles crushed. Talk about the forgiveness process. Thank you.
，当时当然比婆的时候觉得有很多的事情想不通，回过头来的时候感激都感激不完，我珍惜那些日子。呃、uh, ，the only way to get it right and to be have a peace in your mind is that you will fix your eyes upon Jesus. What you are going through is because of Jesus in your life. Of course, in the middle of the persecution, the pain and suffering, you have、um, uh, you have questions: Why?、Uh, why is this happening to me? But any time you just start to think how much he has suffered from、yeah. my sins,、uh, you are able to carry. And it's not that the people are bad to you; it's just、uh, something that God has allowed to happen. So the most important thing I feel is that I pray for them. If they don't have the sin, they don't have the right to be there. And I feel almost guilt when they beat me up and they hurt me, because I understand it's only because I haven't been quick enough to bring the salvation to them that they already become believers. Obviously, they will not beat me up if they were brothers in Christ. How can the Muslim teacher turn out that the American Muslim to come to you? You chant the Foo Yinde, you pray the Foo Yin, give them the Lord. They believe in Jesus. They are not only going to beat the American Muslim, they are not only going to beat the American Muslim. And, and, and this is the same thing that the problem you、uh, Americans you have with the entire Islamic world.、Uh, they are fighting against you because you own them. You, why didn't you bring the gospel long ago to them? And、uh, they all would be brothers in Christ. They will never create all these terrorists. Good. That's good. Hallelujah. That's a good word.、Uh, talk about.、Hallelujah. Isn't that a good? That's a that's a good word.、Uh, The, the process of forgiveness.、Um, you for, you've obviously forgiven them. I, just, I can tell just by the way you answered that. Do you still have nightmares, though? Do you still? Do you, do you, do you still? 我对他们的饶恕倒是换成一个，不是说饶，单单来讲说我饶恕你，但是心里。我是换过来的，我不要不是单单饶恕，我是要祝福他们的。我真每一天真正是要为那些逼迫我们的人祝福。Uh, it, it's more than just forgive them, because that's not enough. That is an endless process. If you are only you just fight with that, am I able to forgive? A, a process of forgiveness. It's not enough. You have to move on, and you have to start to bless those、right. who.、Uh, Forgiveness isn't active enough. No, no, no. You got to start blessing those yeah, who curse you. Pray for them. That's、answer. what the word says, right? Yeah, hallelujah. Yeah. We see that. 经常待到一起久了，我有时候他们是说信耶稣了，感到对不起。我说没有啊，你们是一个国家的一个好干部啊，你们是按照上面的领导的吩咐，你们这样来打呀，你们做的是对呀。这件事情就是我们的亏欠呐。And always, when I'm sitting at the table, the policemen who are beating me up because the authorities above them have commanded you have to this man, man have to be punished. I said, you, "What you are doing is perfectly right. You are obedient to your leadership as you are beating me up." But what, I'm really sorry that I I did not know before you so that I could have bring gospel to you、uh, earlier. Wow, faith, amazing. 每一个基督徒跟随耶稣的人，必须知道两个十字架：一是耶稣为我们的罪死，死在十字架上，成就了救恩；第二，耶稣给每一个跟随的人都要有一个合适你的十字架，是让你自己背的，不是让你抱怨别人。Every follower of Jesus, he have they have to have full understanding that there are two crosses in their life. The, the, the one and most important is the cross of Jesus Christ.、Right. He died for my sins on the Calvary. That is that that is our treasure, and it's very important. But there's another cross, and that's the cross that is tailor-made according your shape and measure. For us, and it's for the rest of your life.、Yeah. Every morning you have to take that cross without complaint and follow Jesus. As Jesus is carrying His cross,、yeah. you follow your cross be- after、it. Him. Love it. Love it. Love it. Hallelujah. One one person asked this question:、uh, Has the cultural stigma towards women in China affected ministry in the church? Are, are, are women allowed to minister in the church no, there, or is there a cultural? One person, just one of them, this one is a woman's way. 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 Is a woman's way
，你可以分享。呃，这个其实最近这些年呢，中国教会的复兴啊，大半还不是难的。应该来讲，从比例上来讲说，百分之七十以上是神使用中国的姐妹们，因为难力啊。公公安呢，总是一直控制这个难力，注意这个难力。可是神就释放了这个姐妹们。他们的中国的关键政府的姐妹们能够做什么？可是神说，传福音的女子要成为大队。What God has done in China is remarkable. At the same time, as the government is observing all the action of the male population, they are under very, very tight control. Where are the men of China? The woman, they have an opinion that the woman cannot do anything. So what God did, he raised an army of female witnesses. So about more than 70% of the evangelists and the pastors and preachers in China are female. I want, I want, people, I want people to get that. Because that's that's important. Seventy percent over over seventy percent. I would say eighty plus. Eighty plus percent of the evangelists, pastors, pastors. etc. in China. Yeah, and preachers are are, are women. Are women, and amazing. Hallelujah. Uh, that is, pra- yeah, truly praise the Lord. Oh, Things somewhere. are happening in China because they believe they're possible. Yeah. That aren't that aren't happening in other places. Yeah, because you believe that China is possible. That God can do it. Yeah. It really is true that the miracle you believe for is the miracle that happens. If, you, if you're not asking, if you're not asking, it's not happening. 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 If you're not
They're, so we talk uh, when, when I when I read your book, you you talk to Jesus, you walk with Jesus, you preach Jesus. And, and, and that's all about stripping away those cultural things that have come with. Amen. I believe that the purpose why God sent Jesus to this earth was not to establish a superior world religion because religion cannot save right. the soul right. of mankind. I'm with you, brother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm with you. That's exactly what we're preaching. Talk about how, uh, one, one person from the audience asked this question. What can we do to see revival happen right here in Tacoma? The secret for revival is very simple. You have to find things to do that get God's attention. Jesus get uh, passionate about what you are doing for him. And if you do explain, things, explain. Uh, uh, what, what he means is that, that something that is close to the heart of Jesus. The lost, yeah. the sick, yeah. the poor. Yeah, and all who are suffering, wherever they are, if you get involved and passionately yeah. involved in that, you get his attention, yeah. and that's the beginning of it. So the true. And, and church, just if I may take a teach yeah. teachable moment here. Yeah. This is what, we're, when, when we're trying to get you involved in the city, when we're asking you to serve in the city, we're not doing it for social justice reasons. Yeah. We're doing it because God has a heart for the poor, yeah. that God has a heart for the, uh, for the forgotten. Yeah. And that's when, that's when miracles start to happen. Yeah. So if you took the story of Jericho uh, city, what was the uh, uh, part of the society Jesus touched? He touched the blind man at the gate and he healed somebody who was on the lowest level of society, a beggar, blind man, and he transformed his life. And then he also, he touched the guy up in the tree who was a tax collector, yeah. who was on the highest uh, hierarchy of the society. Yeah. So Jesus reached to the top and to the bottom. And that's where he started the, uh, the revival in Jericho. Beautiful. Very few, if none, miracle in the inside the temple, inside the church building. It was at the uh, roadside or at the homes where they were gathered. That's where the miracles yeah, happened. Right. I, I was just reading today, in fact, we were talking about it a little earlier from Mark chapter 2. Um, I'm going to be preaching from it this weekend, but where, where Jesus is in his house and, and people are so full, I mean, the house is so full of people, it's out overflowing and they start lowering a man through the roof because, because of the presence. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Okay. This is very important. The, the Christians in America have to learn. It's not enough to give your heart to Jesus. You have to give your whole home for Jesus. It becomes a place for Jesus to appear to people at your home. Uh, question from, from our audience. Will, will you ever be allowed back in China? 
那你永远有没有办法回到中国？你可以。真的时候到了，我会立刻回去，一定。这个时候已经快到了。He seems excited about that question. Uh, the, uh, when the time is up, I will not waste even one second. I will go back to China. And now in my spirit, I feel that day is very, very soon. I'm able to return Beautiful. back to China. Uh, question. Uh, why don't miracles happen here like they do in, in China? This is very simple. We, we really don't want to bother to, to Jesus to disturb him. So we get all these insurances. Uh, insurance. Uh, insurance, yeah. yeah right, okay. All them. So we rely more on the power of the insurance uh -huh. than the power of healing Jesus. Okay. Mm. So he, now he's offended everybody here. <laughs> that's, that's good, though. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a good word. We, yeah. we, we really do put our trust yeah, well, in our so health talking. insurance. Yeah instead of the prayers for healing, etc. Uh, question, uh, please, explain, please explain your Back to Jerusalem project. You have a table here in the foyer. Where is that? It's in, toward the back there. Yeah. And after we're it's done, we want people to visit that table. That's right. But give, give a, why don't you, Brother Ren, give us a little explanation of what is Back to Jerusalem? Okay, before I do it, I want to explain one little bit more about this, what he said earlier. Okay. When it was about this uh, insurance thing. Don't be offended, but this is reality. Hundreds of millions of people on this earth, they say, I'm a believer of Jesus. But these are the people who have Jesus as a fire insurance policy. They don't want to burn up in hell. Let's believe in Jesus. But Jesus has no rule the ship in their lives. They are just believers, but a right. disciple is the one, and to be a disciple, it costs you everything. And, and, and that's what you're, that's why you say you're trying to build disciples. That's right. Because you don't want to just no, make little, don't believe. little baby Jesus no, people no, no, that no. don't live it out. Yeah, that's right. right. And that's the secret. In China, we have now more than 150 million disciples of Jesus. And of course, their desire is to bring the gospel uh, to everybody who yet not have had any possibility uh, to, re to hear that. And it happened to be that 93%, almost 100% of those who never have heard the gospel, they live between China and Jerusalem. 93, 93% of the people who have never even once heard the gospel, right. who know no difference between Coca-Cola and Jesus Christ. Right. They know more about Coca-Cola than they know about Jesus Christ. They live between China and Jerusalem. 93% 90, of the people who have never heard of Jesus live between Jerusalem and China. That's right. They're, they live in Iran. They live in Iran, in Saudi Arabia. In Saudi Arabia. They live in India, Pakistan, Pakistan India. Afghanistan, all these countries. Yeah. And God has spoken to his church already many, many years that I, I'm going to raise up an army, a simple army of disciples, and you will not fly. You will literally walk through this whole region and proclaiming in every village, every city, every county that the kingdom of God is here. And, and that's what the Back to Jerusalem is about. Hold, hold that thought. That's what Back to Jerusalem is about. It is about God-given vision that God has preserved right. this last leg of the gospel so that the circle that started in Jerusalem around the globe will be brought together from China yeah. back to Jerusalem, the last leg. Yeah. I, I, are, you, are you getting that, church? The, the premise of the Back to Jerusalem movement, if I may yes, paraphrase, is that it started with Jesus in Jerusalem. That's right. And it's gone west. It kind of went, right. went through Rome, and it, we got it, right? And now it's going back around through yeah. China, and, and, and it's moving back through the Middle East until you could say that it has lit, the gospel has circled the world, mm. and it's now winning. At, in the end, your vision is that 
Jews would begin believing in Jesus again, receiving Christ. That's what the Bible says. When this happened, the house of uh, Israel will turn back to God. Yeah. But it first takes that we have to do our share to bring um, the back to Jerusalem missionaries are already from China, underground missionaries. They are all operating in more than 20 countries mm. uh, in, in this region. Yeah. And, and they are, it just uh, dramatically overnight, the always, there has always been a Chinese population in all those countries. Yeah. But suddenly they start to multiply uh, miraculously. They just start to become more Chinese coming up. And they just are there and they are praying. They are healing the sick. Beautiful. They are just performing kingdom actions and establishing the living church of Jesus Christ who does not need a building. We are not right. involved in even one building project in all these countries. Yeah, we just build the spiritual house Love of it. Jesus Christ in homes. And, and if you want to get more information, you can sign up over there. You can actually get a free of charge of ebook with name Heavenly People. And it tells about what God is doing Good. and why he is doing Make sure, right there. Make sure you stop by that table on your way out. And if you're online, you can, they can visit you on your website. Backtojerusalem.com. To yes. All right. Let me one exp example. Please. Think about Iran. How many American missionaries can go back to Iran and start to operate in Iran? Right. right. I right think right. it's below zero. Yeah. Your, your insurance companies would not allow you to go there. I know personally <laughs> that the insurance and, and company. And you register into a tour. You've got 30 Americans on your tour. Right. Your, your departure will be delayed yes, yes. for many, many years. Yes. But think about China. The China is the number one trading partner of Iran. So you can send missionaries in. We don't send, we don't send missionaries. We just send Jesus, people. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you think, brother. Yeah. yeah. Uh, question from our audience, okay? Uh, are you having fun, Yoon? Oh, this is okay, so good, joyful. Good, good, good. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, give us your, uh, well, this is a good question from our audience. Someone asked this. Is it harder to live a spirit-filled life uh, in, in the Western world or China? Do you find, is it more difficult here, or in what ways? If you are a person, if you are a soul, 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 if China, the church in China, they have the Chinese cross mm. to carry. Different. And it's a different, a, a, a different kind of persecution. But in the West, you may not think that our cross is lighter, it's more comfortable to carry. It has, its shape is different, but the weight has to be the same. May they look totally different, the crosses, mm. but the weight has to be the same. Interesting. The impact on your life has to be the same. So, so you're, you're, you're saying that a believer here may, may not have the type of persecution, yeah. but we have a burden, yeah. a burden to carry that's, yeah. that's legitimate too. Yeah. Of course, it has to be there.中国的逼迫，我们就是一种煎熬，把你铐起来，关起来饿。那西方人这种逼迫，可能是呃这种语言的逼迫，宗教的逼迫，还有一种金钱安逸，还有一些事情就是方便的逼迫呀，给你
do not agree with it. Their words will hurt you every day. They will speak ugly, yeah. disgusting things about just yeah. because of your testimony. Right. And, and, and they, uh, they also, uh, there are many other things that happens in the West uh, that uh, if you are a truly disciple, yeah. uh, you are misunderstood, you are mistreated, yeah. and, 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 and nobody really uh, uh, is feeling good about you just because you insist to share the gospel. I think that um, everyone who truly wants to follow Christ as his disciples have to have the same mind as Apostle Paul when he said, I live, I'm alive, not me, but Christ in me. Hallelujah. And one part of the persecution is we want to be so comfortable. And, uh, and, and we, we think that it cannot be real that I have to fast and pray because it's so hard to be without eating so many hours. That is nothing because we have to, we have to understand that this is only beginning for us to discipline our bodies to become a temple that God can use for his purposes. Hallelujah. Wow. Uh, let me pause here. We've, we've got about 10 minutes left. And, and so if you're watching online and you're using that hashtag live at LC, I, I want, if you want, I'd love for you to, uh, to, to text to Twitter, to Facebook your prayer request because I'm going to have Brother Yoon pray over the request here. In fact, if I could get one of uh, my staff members to bring me some anointing oil, we're going to close the service by praying for the sick tonight. I just feel like there's a there's a presence of uh, faith here tonight, and, and uh, we, we don't want to just we don't want to just talk about Jesus. I mean, the spirit that he's talking about is here tonight. You know that, right? So we we can we can experience healing, and we can experience miracles here. And uh, so so in just a moment, I'm going to have you pray for some friends. Would you? Wonderful. Thank you so much. Uh, talk about when. When, talk about fasting, because in your book, he talks, uh, we're, we're, I'm beginning a fast on Sunday, 21 mm. days mm. fasting. I've asked uh, the church to join me leading up to Easter. Mm. We're believing for thousands of new people to come into the church over the next month. Mm. We're believing for, you know, uh, people who are atheists, agnostic, mm. Buddhist, mm. Muslims. And so we're asking people to fast something. How, talk, about, talk about why fasting matters. Talk about its place in your life devotionally. It's very important to everyone, if you want to be used by God, that your, your, your mind, your soul, and your body is crucified with Christ. And in fasting, you start to crucify your body. That's good. <laughs> That's it. How do you That's it. That's it. Oh, it, it is. And <laughs> when, how, how frequently do you fast? Uh, uh, I have some kind of uh, basic half fasting going on in my life. So every year for about 300 days, I do never eat anything after uh, 6 in the after evening. So I, I fast all the evenings. I don't eat anything. 
uh, until next morning. And, and, and for the reason to, to tame his appetite, to tame his body. Uh, and then uh, to believe for miracles? Uh, uh, only purpose is to get closer to the Lord. That's the only motivation for my to be closer to the Lord. To carry that yeah. load and, and pray for re a resurrection and, and deliverance, uh, well, I need that time in prayer. Oh, yeah, I get it. I totally get it. Yeah. Because the burden gets heavy after yeah. a while. Yeah. Hey, let's, let's pray. Can we pray, church? Uh, we, we've got six, seven, eight minutes left here. If you, ha if you need a miracle right now, I'd like you, I'd like you to just stand to your feet somewhere. It's, if, maybe you have cancer. Maybe you have something going on there. Okay, and so I, and then I want the pastors that are here today, the, the pastors on this staff, would you come forward, please? And here's what we're going to do. I'm going to ask Brother Yoon, uh, with his anointing and his, uh, mm. just his faith, to, I'd like you to anoint the pastors of this church. And then pastors, I'm going to ask you to go throughout this crowd and begin to lay hands on pastors. I need pastors up here. Do I have any pastors in this house? Come on now. So if you, these, these are the brothers and sisters that, that are uh, pastors in this church, and I'd like you to anoint them. Looks like I've got three here. Or, okay. And anoint them, and then if you guys and gals can go throughout the crowd and begin to pray for them. Would you please yeah, brother I'm and if you're so. watching online right now i know it's a little hard to see but i want you to just right where you're at at your computer screen at uh at your tv or on your ipad i want you to begin just close your eyes right where you're at and we're going to be believe for your miracles i know we have people that go ahead and anoint these oh, these brothers here and uh, we're going we're gonna to believe for the people that are online. I got a message here. Go ahead, brother. You anoint them even as we speak. Thank you, and all of you who are still sitting there, can you stand up and raise up your hands and we start to pray for all these Thank sick God. people? Yeah, lay After hands on the people around yeah, you. That... And lay your hands up on those who are around you and need Hallelujah. healing. And now I'm going Hallelujah. to anoint with this oil Hallelujah. the hands of Hallelujah. all these people yeah, in the name of Jesus. And, so, and let's all kneel together here. And yeah. and receive the anointing. Yeah. And the anointing. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And they're going to go throughout this. Brother Yoon, uh, thank you, brother, so yes, much yeah, for coming. Yes, We're going to, um, any, any final words as these brothers yes. and sisters are believing for a miracle? Uh, what, do you want the, what, are, what do you want our friends to know? How many of you are already believers of Jesus? Raise up your hand. The Bible says that these are the signs that follow those who believe. And now say to one another around you, uh, signs and wonders will follow those who believe. Amen. Amen. Are there anybody here who is still not believer of Jesus? Now you can raise up your hands and we we'll pray for you. Anybody who is not yet believer, if you'd like, if you'd like to receive Christ, 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 to receive Christ today, just wave your hand. Wave we'll your you. hands if you don't not know Jesus as your Savior yet. Yo, you go, mama. Okay. Yo, yo, ma. Yeah. Is yo, there somebody? Well, and, and there may be people online as well, so just b say a prayer for anyone who would like to receive Christ, would you? Lord Jesus, may your kingdom and His authority come out of bits right now. May your will be done in America as it is done in heaven. Lord, you are only in America, everywhere where people are watching this program right now, the miracles will hit their lives and the power of Jesus will come. Lord, in your mighty name, we release your, your healing power right now. And Lord, in your name, we confess and we proclaim your word is alive and is active today. And you have been uh, taking bills in order to be able to sleep and you still cannot uh, uh, sleep. But when the word of God has tonight come to your life, uh, you will sleep like a little baby tonight without your sleeping bills. And in the name of Jesus, I use the word of uh, God, his word, yes, and I set you free from cancer that is destroying your body, and it will be removed right now in the name of Jesus. And in the in the queue to have a surgery of your joints and your knees. But, uh, but tonight, the word of God is sharper than double-edged word, and it will do a heavenly surgery in your body, and you will be healed. 
，神的刀今天要剑出他的话语，也要把你存那个，把你存那个心中的意念和主意辨明，把你存那个伤害的幽谷里面释放出来。And the same sword of God, His word, will bring healing to you who are in your soul. You are so hurt, you are so wounded, and He will release you from all that baggage from the past, and you will be set free. 我们中间有一些人一生说你已经活不下去，但是神的话说他要把生命的年数或平安要加给你，你要用信心接受。Somebody of you have just heard the doctor s announce we cannot do anything for you anymore. It's over. The word of God for you is that I'm going to add many years into your life, and you will be filled with joy. 主耶稣，你不但把这个权柄给牧师、给教会的传道人，你的高摩也要高摩，每一个人都要在他们不同的职场上，要成为耶稣基督的见证人。Lord, this anointing is not only for pastors and leaders tonight. I anoint in the name of Jesus every believer of Jesus Christ to become a disciple, and they will go to the working places, they will go to the poor people everywhere, and they are performing miracles in the name of Jesus. 无论你是在学校、在银行、在政府、在一些教育的部门，上帝要用你，要。使你传在那里传全国的福音，去医治病人。And you got to be a messenger of the gospel of the kingdom and healing sick. No matter you work in the hospital, you work in the bank, or you work in the government offices, or in the business, or wherever you are, you will proclaim the kingdom gospel and you will heal the sick. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Beautiful! Hallelujah! Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah! Let's give Brother Yun a hand, would you please? In fact, in fact, let's uh, let's reach a hand toward him. Just reach a hand, and I'm going to pray a blessing on these two brothers because we we thank you, God. We thank you, God, for this for these two brothers and what they've done for the kingdom. May they feel protected. May they feel safe. May they walk in your anointing. And God, may you give them favor wherever they go in Jesus' name. For they are your servants. Lord, give them favor in their coming and their going, in their rising and their going, sitting down. God, let it be so that people would recognize Jesus through Brother Yoon and, and everyone associated with him. Bless him for pouring out his heart here tonight. And may he have plant, the seeds that he's planted in us. May they be a wonderful harvest, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now listen. One, one last thing I want to say is that if, if, you, if you're watching online or you're here and you haven't downloaded the Life Center app, this, this whole interview will be available on demand on the Life Center app. So it'll be available to anybody who wants to, to hear this. If you know friends that need to hear this, you get on the app this week and you can forward it. You can put it on your Facebook page because we believe that Jesus has something for Pierce County. He has something to, ha to happen in King County, in Thurston County, in uh, the Kitsap County. So you're a part of it, right? And begin praying about how you can be the hands and feet to Jesus, to the people around you. Because everything that happened in and through this brother can happen through you. Can I get an amen? Amen. All right, church. Blessings. If you want to be prayed for, raise your hand. There will be pastors and, and, if, and other people around you that, need, that will pray for you, all right? Blessings, church. Have a great night. Thank you for joining us. Amen.